Yo, what is up guys, your boy Peru here, and welcome to a brand new series on Madden 19 Ultimate Team, guys. As you guys see today, we have a clear lineup right here with only one player on offense, one player on defense, and this series today is called the Power Ups. So if you guys are wondering what the Power Ups is, it's pretty much going to be a series all around my Power Up players. And as you guys go, you're going to see some similarities to like other YouTuber series. I know MMG, I have some similarities to it. Fictionary, I have some similarities to it. You guys will see, and maybe some other YouTubers I just don't know about, but... As you guys can see, we're going to see some pretty much some similarities to like all those series, but right now it's going to be mashed up to our power-ups. And pretty much what I'm going to be doing is building up a power-up team, and as I go and progress through the teams, we're going to be upgrading. So it's kind of like MMG's Extreme Madden, but instead of like me doing like extreme challenges, it's more just going to be us upgrading our power-up players and getting it to like the fully maxed out version we can get throughout the season. And so as you guys can see, we have Donovan McNabb on offense, and over on defense, we actually have Lawrence Taylor. These guys are going to be like our set pieces. So what I'm going to do is I got two legends, one offense, one defense, and the rest I'm going to fill out with like just regular NFL players power ups. And then also we're going to have a wheel to see if we can upgrade our legends. It's going to be a great series, guys. Trust me. But for right now, we're actually going to be building our team. So here we go, guys. We're on the auction block, and this is how we're actually going to get our team here. I'm going to show you guys an example before we actually getting our players. So as you guys know, we have Donovan McNabb as our legend player. So we don't need a regular quarterback power-up. So pretty much what we're going to do is, for this example, we're going to go all the way over to QBs for power-up, and we're going to click it. I'm going to be taking the first one there. So if we ended up taking a quarterback, we would have Derek Carr. So with some similarities to it, it's kind of like Vic's uh, Winner Circles team where we just take the first card, but there's also going to be like modifications to it, which I'll explain once we get to those positions. So right now, guys, we're actually going to start out with our halfbacks. And as you guys know, I run a two-halfback set. I think what we're going to do so I don't have any other players in the game, I'm going to take the first two halfbacks on the team. So here we go, guys. We're on halfbacks right now. So we're going to be taking the first two halfbacks that we can see, like the one slot and the two slot right there. I have it on time remaining. I didn't do it for the quarterbacks because, I mean, I kind of forgot. But we're going to go time remaining. So it's completely random. It's whoever posted it. And then we're just going to go by that. So our halfbacks for this season, or at least this series, is going to be Todd Gurley and Zeke Elliott. All right, guys. So we are now on to the fullbacks. Now, we actually have two options for our fullback to start on our team. We actually have James Devlin and Kyle Strachuskek. I think I, I think I said his name right. But, I mean, either way, they actually power up to really good cards. Most of these cards power up to at least above a 90 overall or a high, really high 80 overall. So, I mean, we have two options. It's going to be one or the other. I mean, if we get a legend in this, I'm not going to take the legend as I didn't sort out the legends. But So we're going to go straight into fullbacks as, okay, it's going to be James Devlin. I'm pretty sure he has a heavyweight, so that's actually not that bad. All right, guys, so now we're on to our wide receiving core. And for this one, I'm taking the first four wide receivers because pretty much I don't want anyone on the field except for those wide receivers that I have powered up. Like I don't want like any gold cards making it on the field. So we're going to take the first four. And for this one, we actually have a little bonus. This is my little like mystery kind of surprise that we can get. As you guys know, in Ultimate Team, I actually have Odell powered up. And I actually have AB powered up. Now, I don't have them fully upgraded to where Odell is his prime time for or AB, which is his ultimate kickoff. But if we end up getting the power up for AB or Odell, I get to have that card on our team. It's kind of like that little booster for us. So we don't really struggle right out the gate. Maybe we have that one stud of a player on our team. But so, and that's the only thing though, we only get one of them. So if I get both AB and Odell as my first four, I can only pick one and then I get the next one. So here we are, guys. We're gonna hop right into the wide receivers. Hopefully, it'll give us something good out of this as we get Devontae Adams, Jarvis Landry, Emmanuel Sanders, and Julio Jones. Not too bad at all for our wide receiving core. Now, guys, we are on the tight end position. Again, we are taking the first two tight ends we actually see here. I'm actually fine with any of these tight ends. Hopefully, we get Jimmy Graham because I already have the cards for him. And plus, I wanna get power of Jimmy Graham because he's insane. Also, I mean, I wouldn't mind also getting Travis Kelsey, Greg Olson, Jordan Reed. There are a bunch of good tight ends in this one, which I really like. Skipping over Jeremy Shockey, we actually end up getting Jimmy Graham, and we're also going to get Jordan Reed. Now we are on to our linemen. We're going to go straight through our linemen. I mean, I mean I'm just going to cut it to whoever I have just to make it a little quicker because linemen, linemen are linemen. I'll take whoever, really. I mean, it's not that bad. Linemen are good blocking. I only care about the skill position. So we're just going to go straight through, see what we get for linemen. All right, Tyron Smith for our left tackle. Next, we got Osemley for our left guard. At center, we have Rodney Hudson. At right guard, we got Zach Martin. And for our final offensive lineman, we got Lane Johnson. Now, guys, we are actually moving on to our left end position. We're on the defense now. We're going to select our left end. If anything, I'm honestly, I love all the left ends. But I really want a J.J. Watt or Khalil Mack on the team. Or even I'll take Cam Jordan. So we're going to go, or even Joey Bosa. So right here, we're going to go left end. Give me something good as, all right, not too bad. We got Demarcus Lawrence. He's a primetime performer. 
Now guys, we're moving on to our right end position. If there's one player I want to get, is that is Aaron Donald on the right end. That would be insane. I mean, if anything, I'll take anyone else except for Everson Griffin. If we get Everson Griffin, I'll be very, very mad because we ended up selling his primetime performer card for a good profit though. But I mean, like, I don't want Everson Griffin back on the team, especially if we end up upgrading his car all the way back up there. That's something we don't want. But our right end is going to be... Skip or Bruce Smith, and we got Jarrell Casey. All right, guys, we're on to the D tackles now, and we're taking our first two D tackles on the team. I mean, if anything, I love how like, the legends are coming into play with this auction block because they could be the first card, and then we just end up skipping over them and could be someone amazing. So right now, we're going to go defensive tackles. Give me anyone except for Kenny Clark or Damon Harris I will be fine with because all of them have really good cards as we get Quan Short and Adam Kinsu. I'll take that. Now, guys, we are moving on to our linebacking core. Our left outside linebacker can be really, really good. I mean, I'll take anyone out of this except for Nigel Brown. I'll take a Dante Hightower, Justin Houston, Miles Jack, Ryan Kerrigan, or Von Miller. I'll take either one of those guys. I don't really want Nigel Brown that much. Come on. Let's see who we got as, okay, I'll take Kerrigan. All right, guys, so we're moving on to our middle linebackers right now. And so far, guys, I'm actually really happy with the team. All of our power-ups have really high overall cards. I think our lowest card is probably, like, power-up Devontae Adams because he has that 87 overall ultimate kickoff. So the highest we can get him up to is an 88. But right now, we're moving on to our middle linebacker position. I was thinking we're going to take the first two, or if you guys want, we can take Shazier and put him into the lineup. And, like, every time we get a new collectible for Mutt Master, we move up then. But then, again, it'll be a lot slower for Shazier. So I think what we're going to do... We're just going to take the first two middle linebackers we get. I'll take anyone out of this except for Jordan Hicks. I don't think Jordan Hicks has like a really high card. Everyone else has a pretty good decent card. So I'll take Bobby Wagner, Danny Javaven, Luke Keekley, Deion Jones, DeMario Davis, or Zach Brown. So here we go. Middle linebackers, give them to me. We got Bobby Wagner and Luke Keekley. Let's go. Skipping over right outside linebackers. That's actually where Lawrence Taylor is starting out of position. We're going to go straight to our cornerbacks. And again, I'm going to do the same thing that we did for wide receivers. We're going to take the first four. And also, as you guys know, I have Marshawn Lattimore fully powered up. So if we actually end up landing on Marshawn Lattimore, he's going to be put on the team as our 87 overall, kind of like our new card. And if anything, if we would have gotten Odell Beckham Jr. or Antonio Brown, probably the rule for upgrading them is I can't upgrade them until episode 10. So for right now, if we get Marshawn Lattimore, I can't upgrade him until episode 10. I mean, he doesn't even have a card yet, so that's kind of like the only thing. But anyway, guys, let's go get our cornerbacks. First four, here we go. We got, okay, I'll take Lattimore. We got Peters, we got Malcolm Butler, and we got Chris Harris Jr. That's actually a great four. For free safety, we also have another good set of guys right here. I'll take whoever we get. I mean, if anything, I'll take Earl Thomas out of all of them. I think I want the most, or even Kevin Byard, or even HaHa. -Ha. So let's see what we get right here as, okay, I'll take Honey Badger. Now we are on the final position for our power-ups team right here. We have strong safety. There is one real player that I want, but then again, I'll take whoever else we get is Eric Berry. So if we get Eric Berry on the team, I'll be really happy to end off this squad builder power-up series. As here we go. Let's see who we get right here. As all right, we get Eric Berry. I mean, I'll, I would have taken anyone else. I would take an Amos because then he has a new card. I would take Micah Hyde too, but we get Eric Berry. Hopefully, Eric Berry, we get him up really high because he's actually a really good cover safety. So here we go, guys. This is actually the finalized power-up team right here. We got Donovan McNabb as our like key player, starting at quarterback, our one legend on offense. Todd Gurley, Zeke Elliott at the running back position. We got Julio Jones, Emmanuel Sanders, Jarvis Landry, and Devontae Adams at our wide receiver position. James Dale at fullback, Jimmy Graham, at, and Jordan Reed at our tight ends. We got our line right here. Going over to the defense, we got Luke Keekley, and we also have Bobby Wagner at our middle linebacker position. We got Lawrence Taylor as our legend piece, starting at the right outside linebacker position. Ryan Kerrigan at left outside linebacker, Eric Berry at strong safety, the Honey Badger at free safety. Our cornerbacks are actually looking really good. I forgot to add Marshawn Lattimore in here. We got Marshawn Lattimore, Chris Harris Jr., Marcus Peters, Malcolm Butler. And our line is actually looking pretty filthy itself. We got Drell Kelly and Casey, I should say. The Dominican Sue, Kwan Shore, and Demarcus Lawrence. Now, guys, time to look at the wheel, and then we'll finish off this episode right here. Show you guys what to be expected with the wheel spins, too. So here we go, guys. Looking at the wheels right here, this is called the power up wheel. This is going to be the wheel that we spin when we actually win the game. So right now, we're going to take a test spin right here. It has the range of levels 1 through 3 where we can upgrade our players here. So as you guys can see, whoever we would get, we would get level 3 on, which we would upgrade 3 levels of their power up card right there. There is also other cards right here as right here we go to downgrade as I'm trying to spin it. But we also have a card called downgrade, which is probably going to be like the only bad thing that we have on the wheel for us. That can hurt us during at least the beginning part of the season. As we go along, I'll put in more like 
more wheel spins that like hurt us if we lose a game as soon as we get our team really good we'll start adding penalties in where we downgrade players but downgrade is pretty much we downgrade them to their lowest form so back to 68 overall if we had any problems or progress on it next we have the legend choice as you guys can see on the wheel the legend choice is pretty much i get to pick whatever legend card i want on the team so if i want at our strong safety position or our free safety position if i want brian dawkins right there or sean taylor i can get their 74 overall card and replace honey badger now we also have another thing that we can land on which is called the replacement which is pretty much a replacement random player or we can actually change that in for one level so pretty much what we would do is that we would go to power-ups and we just pick the first power-up player right there so say we end up getting this on our wheel spin and I have my players all the way up. And I don't really want to risk like any up laying on a player where I have to replace. So say I have Eric Berry all the way up to his Mutt Heroes form. Yeah, or Mutt, his Mutt Heroes form. Say we have him up to there. And I don't want to take the risk of it. I can just take one level to anyone I want. But if I have everyone at 68 overall like I have right now. And I don't care which one, which other power up I get. So maybe we land on like uh, another left outside linebackers. Maybe I get Von Miller. I get Von Miller. By just getting it random so that's the actual replace random card right there or on the wheel next we go to replace choice that's where i actually get a choice of who i want on the wheel so pretty much i can go through whoever power ups i want and just replace it like that just like the legend and then also we have the team replace which is pretty much i have a team wheel i spend the team wheel i can pick any player from that team that has a power up on it and then finally on the power up, power up wheel we also have the legend random choice or three levels pretty much like the same replacement level where I can either change in for three levels or I can get a random legend on the team. Now with that being said guys, we're gonna spin the wheel here as a little example. So say we end up getting three levels right here, we're actually gonna go over to the position wheel and we're gonna end up spinning that wheel right here as as you guys can see right here, where we land on gets three levels. So right now we got D tackle one and that is actually gonna be the Dominican Sue. He would get three levels on his card. So this will only be when we actually end up winning the game. There's no repercussions or any like bad things that we lose or anything good if we actually lose the game. So nothing happens to us if we lose, at least for right now. But when we do win, we get to actually spin this wheel. And then also, guys, finally, our last wheel, which is the team wheel, which is pretty much just the team of all the NFL teams that has to do with on the winner wheel. If we end up laying on the random team wheel. So anyway, guys, we actually have our lineup right here, right now. I mean, this is our finalized lineup. I put Marshall Lattimore in the starting lineup right here. So we finish off at 69 overall. Hopefully we get some wins our first couple of episodes out. I mean, I want to get some upgrades on the team as soon as possible. I hope you guys enjoy this little introduction. Next time we are actually going to end up playing a game. See how we do. Hopefully we don't get completely smacked by someone who has Mutt Master, uh, Ryan Shazier, and a bunch of 90 overalls. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment like what new things that we should add to this series because I'm open to ideas. And I'll see you guys all next time. Peace out. i has got that seven foot tall. Yep. There we go. I got Jimmy Graham open. Oh, as you can go open. One-handed catch touchdown, Jimmy Graham. Let's go. Gonna see if I can hit him with a little blitz right here.